the main event. We, we've been building up to this for months. Uh, this fight was talked about for last year before Connor got a broke his hand, I believe. Uh, but this fight's been talked about for a long time, ever since they went back and forth at the Go Big press conference um, in 2014. Uh, 2015, excuse me. Um, Conor Gregor, Donald Cerrone. Conor making his return to the UFC, searching for his first win in four years. Which, yes, that's correct. That's not, in case you're wondering, how, like, if you want to feel old, the last time he won was November of 2016. That is almost four years ago. Um, the last time he won a fight that was like, against somebody currently in the UFC, because Eddie Alvarez isn't even in the UFC see anymore that was Nate Diaz in August of that year he's searching for his first one now obviously it's not entirely fair to say because he's had only two fights since again since then obviously against Floyd and boxing and Habib uh, two years ago but he's been very inactive he's going against a guy Don Cerrone who is the king of activity uh he fought four times in 2019 he fought three times in 2018 four in 2017 and so on and so forth um, he's a veteran, he's a former lightweight title challenger, he has all of, like, he he has everything, you know what I mean? Like, he, he's got all the records, all the accolades, most performance bonuses, most most fight, not, not fight of the night, but most performance bonuses, uh, most knockouts, most wins, 36-13, and this is his big moment, you know, obviously Cowboy... He, he's known to kind of, when the lights shine bright, he's not always the best that he can be, and that's what's disappointing to a lot of people. Um, his last two fights were against the top tier, and he got TKO'd both times. Um, then again, this is this is an even bigger spotlight than that, you know. Uh, it's even bigger than any title fight he's going to have. It's bigger than any fight against any big name he could have. He's facing the biggest star in MMA history, and... Uh, I think what makes this fight interesting um, is really, I think, it's how much Connor's skills have diminished. I think that um, if we're talking about the Connor of 2016, there's not even a question. Because the Connor, the last time he won a fight, he looked so good. I don't think anybody on the planet could have beaten him on the night of UC 205. He was so sharp, he was so good. UC 229, he looked really, really sloppy. Like, he didn't look terrible against the B, but he looked very, very sloppy. Um, his gas tank wasn't as good. Like, it's known not to be great, but he was, he was gassed. Um, and he was just disappointed. And he himself said they didn't take camp seriously, and then he disrespected a lot of people around him by not taking it seriously. And now, I'm like, you look, look into him, he's, he, you see that he's engaged, he's looking good, um, his training's apparently going great, Every, all, all the, like, words that we're hearing coming out of his camp is that he's good. Um, but we'll see how, how diminished his skills are, cause if his, you know, that's, that's really the key here, cause it, he is a stylistic nightmare for, uh, Cowboy Cerrone. He's a long, lanky southpaw that has a great left hand and does great pressure. And that's just like, a, like if you were to make a person that would beat Donald Cerrone, it would be Conor McGregor. Um, but here's here's my official prediction. I think he, even in his, let's say his skills are diminished. Let's say he hasn't taken camp that seriously. I think given the pattern of Cowboys, and I love Cowboy Cerrone. I could watch Cowboy Cerrone fight every single day. You know what I mean? I could watch all of his fights for a long time. Um, I think it really comes down to just, I think he's a stylistic nightmare. I know we just went on like a long winded uh thing about that, but um you know. So Angel, what, what do you think about the main event? And what do you think about the fight in general? Dude, this is uh this is life changing, uh, for Cowboy at this point in his life. Uh has a kid, uh has been fighting the highest level competition in the UFC forever and recently, you know, you know you know, guys fighting for that title or in contention for that title. And about to fight for that title. I mean his he is in the best position anybody can be in the UFC right now. I mean, and he's and he just got pushed into the light as hard as he could right now, and it's it's all gonna matter. Is he gonna show up? Is he not? And and I hope you know he does. You know, for for his sake, for for entertainment, to get his name out there, make a brand for himself. I mean, he already has. He already has. You know, Cowboy is Cowboy is a brand, but even even higher, even bigger than what it is, because you know he's fighting Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor is. He wasn't in retirement, but he's come out and is back and he's fighting you, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. And it's, 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 to me, it's like, how, how is he going to take advantage of this? You know, what is he, 
what is it to him? And it's and it's been relatively quiet, you know, for a Connor fight in my opinion. It hasn't been a, as crazy, you know, antics. It's, there's been a lot of respect, and, and you know, that's that's good and all. But I think uh, there, there's a lot here for Cowboy to look forward to, no matter what is after after the result of the fight. Obviously, in in in, in his dream world, I think he imagines he wins the fight and goes on, and maybe uh, is is in. Uh, you know, gets another fight, you know, and, you know, is in contention after that or whatever. Uh, but, uh, I mean, as for the fight itself, I mean, Con- Connor's been gone, but I don't think that changes anything of of, uh, of Connor as it is. I mean, Connor's just this this great boxer, super talented, almost, I'd say, uh, just weird and quirky, not to the extent of, of Tony when it comes, uh, you know, to how, how the punches are thrown, but... But Connor just has this certain uh, persona in the octagon that that's just different from the rest. You know, when you're when you're fighting Connor, it's just it's, it's just something else. Uh, and I mean, you know, Cowboy's good and, and great. I mean, he's talented. He's he's won amazing fights for something. And it's not that I don't think he could win. I could see a world where Co- Cowboy beats Connor. It's just it's just not something I can see right now. It, Connor's just a special special thing when it comes to UFC that you know, talented. I mean, I hope the gas tank, I hope the the way the way he feels is is good. I, I hope his conditioning is a lot better than it was last time. I think that's going to be a big thing. I mean, and I think out of Cowboys camp, they totally said they're going to tire him out. And maybe that's not a bad idea, and maybe that does work. But maybe Connor's, maybe Connor's a different animal now. Uh, like you said, he's focused, he's wired in, he's paying attention to everything. Uh, I think he really wants to look good this year. And he said this year he's going to treat like a series and he's going to have multiple fights and then he's going to have his his uh, run for the ring, which I imagine would be against Habib, obviously. Uh, I I mean, I, th- I think we're going to get a very, a very maybe different Connor in that octagon, a Connor we haven't seen before. And I think that that might be one of the main reasons Cowboy doesn't win this fight because we're going to get a Connor that no one's ever seen, a, fo- a super-focused Connor, a super-driven Connor, ready to come back and just – 